Hello from the other side. My name is Sharfi Yunus and today we are going to continue with our journey in data binding. Today we are going to see how to integrate data binding with fragments. All right, so let's jump into Android Studio. So this example is from the previous video. If you didn't see the previous video about data binding, you can always check them on my channel. So we want to create this example show only how to deal with activities. Okay, so we want to create an example about fragments. So we'll do basically the same example, the same example, but in a fragment. First thing we have to create the fragment. If you don't know how to create a fragment, you can always check on the, that on the internet. Let's go to create fragment and right. right. So basically the first link it's from the Android de developer documentation. We can follow that guide, all right? So first, let's add these dependencies. We need these dependencies for KTX improvements since we are using Kotlin. Great, let's add that line here. Don't forget also to add the data binding and the Kotlin cut, all right? So the version, yes, we need the version also. Let's copy that and sync it. Great. Let's go back to our activity. So the first thing we have to create a class, right? So let's name it person fragment. Okay. Now we need also to create a layout file for that fragment. Let's name it fragment person. Okay. And here we want basically to do the same thing as the previous activity. So we want to include the layout tag for data binding, the data tag, and everything here. So basically I will do just copy and paste. Okay, copy that, select all here, and paste. Nothing has changed. Now let's go back to the fragment. In order to create a fragment, let's see what we have to do. First, we have to extend from the fragment class. Okay, from the fragment class, fragment, great. That's the first thing, and we need to do constructor invocation, like that. Then, there is a new, the, this constructor, previously the fragment constructor didn't accept any parameter, okay? Now it accepts the layout resource. We can basically use person. That will inflate the layout and use it. Next. We have to do the following. We want to bind our layout, our layout with data binding. We want to use our layout with data binding. Great. So we need to do the following. We have to override fragment. We have to override a method called on view created. On view create. Okay. Like that. You can delete this line. Let's add a global variable here. Let in it var binding, which is always the name of the layout with the word binding fragment person binding. Now, in this example, we we created the layout and then bind it with the with this variable. Okay, now here the layout is already created. It is here in the view. This layout is here in the view and presented. It's, uh, it's already created after calling this method. So basically we want to assign binding with something related to that view. Okay, we can do the following. We can do fragment person binding. This, the class, this the class has a method called bind. Okay, it allow you to bind a view to the fragment person binding class. Okay, so, so this line will be sufficient. Now you can do anything you want with this binding. So here we did this line. You can basically just copy that and paste it here. Okay, if you don't want to use this constructor, if you don't want to use this constructor, you can do the following. You can delete that from here, of course. You can override the method called onCreateView, like that. And basically here, you have to create the view yourself. All right, so you can do the following, data binding util, okay, dot inflate. What you need here, is the class you want to inflate, which is fragment person binding, or you can delete it from here and just assign it to a binding like that. 
it will infer the type all right this need an inflator so basically we'll, you will pass that inflator it need the layout resource r dot layout dot fragment person it need a container which is the parent and attached to boolean which is false okay this will create the binding so we don't need this we don't need especially this line all right this line we don't need it anymore if you want to use that version of course then you have to return the view the view is inside binding dot root all right that's that's it for the moment nice now in order to create the fragment we already created the fragment class but we didn't link it here so in order to do that you can always follow the documentation the documentation is great okay so you need to add this tag to the activity you want this fragment container view that will contain the fragment So I can delete everything here. Okay. I can basically replace all the layout like that. And just delete that. Or I can replace it with my replace it with my fragment. Fragment. Like that. Okay, that's the first thing. Let's continue. That's the example of adding fragment via XML. Now, we don't have this thanks because we don't have this binding anymore because there is no binding here. Just go delete that. And also, you have to, re to reset that like that. And delete that. All right. So, basically, now it will work as hopefully expected. So, basically, this example lets you add the fragment directly in the XML layout, okay? And this one, you have to do it programmatically. Here is the code for that. It's pretty simple. That's because the KTX dependency, all right? Because of that, or that time. Let's see if the code run as expected. Great, it is working as expected. So as you can see, this activity, this our our only activity you can check it here there is a fragment called a fragment and this fragment basically it's creating itself and then binding the person like that okay uh, we can do we can we are showing here two examples on how to use data binding either by using the on creative view or by using just the constructor to inflate the layout like that and then bind it here let's try the first the second example run it and hopefully it will work great after that we can also try the programmatic way of adding fragment to the activity all right so basically here we did that thing using xml like that i mean yeah we did this one let's do the second one so first you will have to delete this line all right that's simple and second you have to add some code here in the main activity Okay, so if you create it like that, nothing will happen, I think. It will be a blank activity. Yeah, this is just a proof, right? Let's start. It tells here to copy that line. All right, let's copy that. Here we have to import the commit. Yeah, because that's an extension function, I think. Yes, this is an extension and an airline function. You can check the video about extension function in this channel. Now, to add this fragment, let's just delete this one. And add our fragment like that. Person fragment. Sorry. Person fragments. Okay. So, now, if you run it. Let's see. And it is working as expected. Okay, so this is both way on of how to add fragments into your into your activities. All right. So I hope you understand it. I hope you have fun with it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and see you in the next video.